There's a there's a lot of bullshit out there, right? Um, I've heard you talk about this. How you know back in the day, it used to be that um, if in order to be someone that knows what they're talking about or be on a public scale, you kind of have to like know someone or just be really really well known. Um, and now with social media, it's it's very democratic in that everyone has an opinion. How do we know who to trust these days? How do we know who, who the right people to listen to are? So it's tough because even credentials don't don't protect against this stuff because yeah. listen, in general, what I say that like if you're talking if you're taking nutrition advice from somebody with a PhD in nutrition, would I say there's a higher probability that that person is going to give you good information? I would. Yes, I would. Um, you know, would I better than a physician? Yes. Um, if somebody's a physician, do I have relative confidence that they're going to give you better advice than uh, Joe Blow, right? Sure, I do. But I've still heard PhDs say crazy stuff. You know, I've still heard them say insane shit. So, you know, even then you're not necessarily protected. And that is because even smart people fall victim to cognitive dissonance, which is basically you have the information to refute a point that you currently hold, but you refuse to give up the point that you're the opinion you currently hold. Okay. And we see this in politics and just to show how powerful this is. Okay. And this is, this is not just one political group. This is all of them. So there was a study done, I think like 15 years ago where they surveyed Democrats and Republicans. And for both groups, they gave them irrefutable facts that would either refute or support a belief that they currently had. And what they found was in both groups that it didn't matter that if it supported what they currently believe to be true or refuted, both things were equally as uh, effective at reinforcing what they already believe to be true. That is textbook cognitive dissonance, right? And it becomes even more difficult when you realize you can always find a single study Maybe usually like these are studies that these guys get in a Petri dish or rodents or whatever, and they don't disclose that. Uh, you can always find a single study that will support whatever kind of claim you want to make. Um, and so it's really difficult. So what I tell people is credentials help. Okay. It increases like if somebody has a PhD in a, in a subject, I'm not just going to blanket take what they say. Um, but I will give them more leeway, right? Like if they, if I hear a snippet on a podcast, I won't necessarily just be like, oh, I, I, I'll be like, oh, I want to hear the help with the context they use this in, right? So what you really want to do is actually look for a way that people speak, okay? So a textbook example of that is what we just went through, right? You're trying to get me to pick a specific food. And I'm like, oh, there's, there's this thing, there's that thing, there's trade-offs, you know? Yeah. Like that, that's, People who are real experts very rarely will speak in absolutes. They don't use words like best, worst, never, always. They just don't. Like, you know, when I give the example, like I was on uh, the Fighter and the Kid podcast with Brian Cowan and Brandon Schwab. And Brandon's a former uh, UFC fighter, right? And it'd be like me saying, hey, uh, what's the best submission? Depends. Depends on a lot of different factors, right? Be like me saying to Brian, who's a comedian, what's the best joke? And it's like, well, it depends on a lot of factors, right? And so, you know, really when you're looking at experts, it's very counterintuitive what you want to look for. You want to look for somebody who doesn't sound completely sure of themselves. Somebody who is willing to also make the devil's advocate argument, okay? Who approaches any question from multiple different angles, which again, when you ask me like, hey, you, you know, if you had to lose a lot of weight, what would you do? Or like one of the best foods to eat. I'm approaching that from a few different angles. I'm not just saying, well, these are the best foods, right? I'm saying, well, these show up in the studies, but we also have to consider this. So you're looking for a way that people talk. If people are talking with absolutes, extremes, I can almost promise you that that's not somebody who is a real expert because real experts always hold themselves open to the fact that what they believe could be wrong. And it's tough too, because that type of verbiage, like the best or the best foods, like that's the stuff that makes the best headlines and makes, it has the best clickable videos. Is there a time, 
So go ahead, sorry. Well, I just think about political debates. Who ends up winning political debates? One of the reasons I don't, uh, I'm not always interested in debates unless there's a really good moderator is because he just ends up sounding like whoever sounds more likable and whoever tells people what they want to hear. Here's the other thing people don't want to admit to themselves. People end up following people who tell them what they want to hear. That That is a big part of it. Not everyone, but a lot of people do. So if somebody says, you know, uh, it's oh you didn't you didn't eat too much. That's that you didn't eat too many calories. That's not why you got fat. It's that um, you know these evil carbohydrates that are being infused into the food system by the the government wants you to be sick. You know, and like this sort of like narcissistic. Um, it's not your fault. It's everybody else's fault, and the world is conspiring against you to make your life hard. You know, like are there social, economical, political environmental things that make a difference and make it harder for some people to lose weight versus others? Yes. Does it change the fact that there is an element of personal responsibility to it? Absolutely not. And I think a lot of people have trouble holding those things in both hands.